Okay, I'm on uh, Weymouth Pier again. I'm with Debbie and Jason from Dorset Eye. You're going to tell us all about Dorset Eye. Okay. Hi, well, we're an online community magazine. Uh, we were set up on the 1st of June 2012. Um, the idea originally came for it probably about 12 months beforehand as a sort of alternative to mainstream media. So, I mean, some people sort of describe us now as all indie media, but we just see ourselves as being a community online site that allows people to have a voice. Um, the way in which people can submit to Dorset Eye um, from the site um, is through articles, photographs, audio, video, and anybody across Dorset and beyond Dorset. I mean, you know, we have people who are writing for Dorset Eye now who are beyond the boundaries, if you like, um, because they believe that they have something that people in Dorset can gain from. You know, stories to tell, articles, as I said before. Um, so it's anybody, really. But it, it, the focus is upon what's going on in and around the county of Dorset. Yeah, and it's all completely free, there's no charge. All completely free, yeah. I mean, we, right. we are looking for sort of sponsorship, and there is a directory on the site um, three grades. Um, the first grade is absolutely free, but there are other grades that there's sort of quite a nominal, small annual fee for people who want to sort of you know, upgrade to sort of full page and etc. But yeah, to actually access the site and to submit to the site is absolutely free. Mm. And who had the original idea for the site? Well, the original idea <laughs> came from. Um, I think a number of number of different um, reasons. Firstly, I was I was going to be made redundant from my job as a lecturer, and Debbie and I were looking for something after that point that we'd like to spend the rest of our lives doing, um, as opposed to just going back into work. Um, we wanted to find something that you know we could set up ourselves that would bring in an income that would finance. Dorset Eye, but you know, we're not people who are wealth creators, we're no. just looking for people to live a, a comfortable lifestyle, but providing something that we hope that communities can benefit from. Um, and we looked, we looked around at the sort of the mainstream media, and originally the idea was to set up a sort of alternative newspaper. But that very quickly sort of died a death because of the cost involved, and because you know, newspapers are dying. Mm. Print is dying. The, the, the internet is, is taking over very rapidly. So we knew that that was the sort of the tour de force, if you like, for the future. Right. Right. And you say you've reached outside Dorset. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've got people. Um, if you look at the number of, of views that we have now on a, on a monthly basis, you know, we've, we've gone past twenty-six thousand in the last few days. But we're looking for, you know, 26,000, hopefully, weekly, mm. if not daily, sure. well into the future. That would be wonderful. <laughs> but uh, there's, a, there's a significant number of those people who read Dorset Eye are from outside of the county, even outside of the country. You get a lot of expats, you know? Yeah, in some cases, absolutely, yeah. We do get people contacting us and sort of saying, you know, we live in Cyprus or we live in Canada or, or whatever, and we find what you're doing really interesting and it keeps us abreast of what's going on in a county that we love. You just don't have to live in anymore. Yeah. Well, we've got a beautiful day today, and more people should come down. Yeah. And absolutely. they can get access to stuff through Dorset Eye. Absolutely. The, yeah. the yeah. local yeah. person's yeah. view of things. Yeah, we, we've got an events page um, for us to behold the Dorset, you know, from music to theatre, um, food festivals, and everything like that, really. You know, People just want to, to let other people know about it. And whether they have anything directly to do with it or whether they just, you know, just enjoy it, enjoy it want to inform. That's what we're about. Oh, say, so, okay, so how can people find Dorsetai again? If you go on to www.dorsetai.com, right? Um, and there it is. Right. As simple as that. And, and so you're on Facebook. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Pinterest, um, we're on LinkedIn. Right. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a whole range of different places in which we are through social media um, to follow us or, or to join in 
and that's really what we want people to do to join in. It's not about Debbie and I. It really is the end of the day we're, we're sort of behind the scenes. But really it's really, really important is, is the people out there who've got a voice and we hope they'll use it. So if people wanted to write for you, send you a, an email in the first instance, I guess. No, 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 they don't have to do no. that at all. Most people will just simply go onto the site, click on Submit New, register, log in, and... They Submit? Don't, they, don't, they don't need that. All we, all we will do is moderate it. Right, okay. Um, but having said that, a lot of people will email us for stuff because they haven't got the confidence or they haven't got the time. Absolutely fine. Our preference is that people do find the time to submit themselves because then they can form their own sort of directory within the site. Sure. And they can constantly keep going back to the things that they've added to themselves. Um, so it becomes theirs, you know, the sort of the sort of sort of a quasi ownership, if you like. Right. I guess it's the same idea that I want with the podcast. I want people to send me ideas. I want people to send me news. Uh, so you know, we're both working together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely right. Okay, well, uh, that's a great interview. Um, people can go to www.dorsedeye.com yes. and subscribe, uh, yeah. well, send stuff in. Join, join the page, join yeah, the um, yeah, use register. Yeah. yeah, it's not it's not really subscriptions we say, it's just registering right. um, for free. Um, for free, and from that moment onwards, you know, you are part of Dorset Eye as much as we are. Okay, thanks for the interview.